Oh my God. I'm just now recording. I'm just now recording. Oh my goodness. Okay. So y'all, I've been in my car now for about an hour. I basically wanted to come on here and tell you guys that whatever you're going through, you know, whether it's negative, it's bad, it's sad, like just whatever you're going through, there's hope, you know, just stay positive. And this might be so cliche, but literally when life throws you lemons, you make lemonade. The point of this video today is I just wanted to talk about things in life, like how life has no filter. You could be good one day and the next day be fucked up. Like, that's just how life goes, you know? I'm here at Walmart, guys. I'm actually in my car. I'm about to go in. I had to run some errands today. And I have to go in here and get some stuff out of Walmart. So, I just wanted to chat with you guys for a little bit. And um, let you guys know that... I mean, I just recently got some bad news. I just recently, you know, had something that just fucked up my whole week um but i'll be all right you know you gotta have that confidence you gotta shake it off and you know you gotta like i said you gotta find something positive in the negative and it ain't easy you know you got a lot of you know things out here and you got a lot of things out here in life that's not gonna wait for you you know life comes with no warning and you got to be prepared, you know, rainy days and shit going bad. Just know that there's always hope at the end of the tunnel. Whatever you're going through, like I said, take it and make it a, a freaking positive. You will get through it. You will get through whatever you're going through. You will get through it. There's been times I've been on my last fucking quarter, 25 cents, and like did not know what else I was going to do. But something always came through. Just have faith, believe in yourself, push, 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 try. You know, you'll never know what blessings will come out of pressure because it definitely creates diamonds. That's another line. That's very true. Pressure creates diamonds. Um, and I don't want anybody to ever feel discouraged like they have to go out and do something to themselves because life's not working out right now. And that's another thing that we need to talk about. Mental health. Guys, if you are feeling some type of way and depressed, go talk to someone, a friend. It doesn't necessarily have to be somebody of a profession, but you could talk to a friend. You could talk to a relative, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, like child, even though if they're not listening, you still got to get it out. You know, you can even go on your platform and talk about it, social media and talk about it because everybody likes to have this image like they're so good. They're so Okay. But motherfuckers is low-key depressed and sad. Check on your happy-ass, excited, Joe, jolly-ass friends because they are the main ones out here that's depressed. You know, the fraud is real. It's real out here. And, you know, I just want people to understand that to be okay, to, to, be, to not be okay is okay. To say, look, I'm not okay. You know, it's okay. You know, me and my boyfriend, uh, like another night ago, I was having bad anxiety, um... I was like overthinking, then thinking. I was like hot. Like, I don't know. It was just, I had a lot of thoughts in my head. And, you know, he came down and he sat on the bed with me and he said, babe, smoke a blunt. <laughs> he told me to smoke a blunt. I don't smoke weed. I smoke hookah. That's, that's, my, that's my shit. That's my twist. That's what I do. I smoke hookah. And I don't smoke it every day, y'all, because it's not good. I have, like, asthma, and I shouldn't be smoking no hookah, damn hookah anyway, but I smoke hookah, like, maybe, like, a couple of times a month, like, you know, on a weekend or something, or, you know, like, just whenever I just feel like doing it, but it's it's literally, like, maybe a couple times a month. I don't even do it, like, every day or every week or every weekend. It's, like, literally a couple times a month. But anyway, back to what I was saying, like, he was just letting me know that everything will be okay, like, stop thinking so much, stop thinking in life. You know, we always get caught up with running our brains and we just need to relax and take it day by day because all we have is time on this earth. Like, all we have is time. So, something goes bad the next day, something positive could come out of it the following day. Something goes wrong this day, something positive can come out of it the following day. 
And all I want you guys to understand is like, nobody's life is perfect. You know, you could look at people and think that their life is so perfect, and it's not. Everybody's struggling, fighting their own demons, going through their own shit. Nobody's perfect. We're all human beings. We all have feelings. You know, things happen to all of us. So, you know, don't ever discourage yourself when you feel like stuff is just going wrong in your life. It's everybody. Some people are just more better at hiding it. And I'm not the type to, to want to hide my shit. Some things aren't people's business. But what I'm not going to do is make it seem like I am absolutely okay and I'm not. You know, a lot of people are really out here depressed and they're laughing and joking and giddy and, you know, and I know you still should be positive, but it's a difference between being positive and just blankly just being a whole different character. Like, if you're not okay, it's, it's, it's okay to say you're not okay, you know? And that's just basically what I wanted to come on here and tell you guys. Like, because like I said, I just recently got some news that is just fucked up. And I'm going to just say it, you know, but you'll get through it. Like, like I said, think of the positive things. Think of your health. I always say this about health. Health is a big asset to, to be very grateful for because you got people that can't see. Be thankful that you can see, you can hear, you can walk, you know, like, because... You know, those are like little blessings every day that we take for granted. You know, be happy you're still here. You have another day, another shot, another day. You wake up, that's another shot at life. That's another shot to do something. That's another opportunity. You know, like just be just be thankful, really. That's all you can do. And you know what? Anybody that's out here trolling people that are doing bad and anybody out here talking shit on people that you know, may not be financially all great or kind of struggling. That shit ain't funny because you're going to have your day. You're going to have your day. You know, everybody gets their day. I have, everybody gets a day where they'll be humbled. You know, they'll be humbled. But yeah, guys, um, I'm about to run in here in Walmart and get some things. I've been in my car for like an hour or more now. Like literally. I've been in my car forever. But this is like my car to me is where my mind like runs free. Like anytime, like even sometimes when me and my man argue, I just go out and sit in the car and like breathe, think, talk to myself. Everybody talks to themselves, you know? So don't nobody thinking I'm weird or crazy because I say I talk to myself. Everybody talk to themselves, and you a liar if you say you don't. I said it. Period. <laughs> You're a liar if you say you don't talk to yourself. I talk to myself. I sure do. But yeah, guys, this is my skin. These are my eyebrows. Let me stop. But yeah, y'all, that's just the tip of today. Stay positive. Everything gonna work out. Everything gonna be fine. And like I said, when certain things come at certain times, at certain points of your life, you use it. Use it. You got fired from your job. Use it to say, okay, now's my opportunity to get that real estate popping like I always wanted to do. Or start that hair website like I always wanted to do. Or go and get that nursing gig. Or go get that manager position and, you know anything you feel me go get that job you always wanted to work at or you know maybe that job was negative let me do a, a something positive now or let me you know if you know i couldn't stand half of the motherfuckers there anyway i'm glad i'm out of there like just use it as a positive thing now i know i can't speak for everybody when something happens like that and you're financially like fucked but you know keep it going Try the next job. Try, you know, like, obviously, grown people know what the hell they got to do. But I'm just saying, like, don't sit and sulk in your sorrow. Don't sit and sulk in your sorrow. Because that's just going to slow you down. It is. It's okay to hurt. It's okay to be depressed. It's okay. You know, it's not okay, but it's okay to, to, to say, look, I'm not okay. I'm, I'm you know, you got to ride that wave. You got to ride that wave, man. 
grieving and and it's a part of a process you got to get it out if you holding it in and you it's when when is it ever going to come out you know what i'm saying so you definitely got to process shit internalize it and get rid of it moving on that that chapter's done you know that chapter's done life is a book there's chapters okay some chapters are the same things happening up until the 20th chapter. Then it's a different chapter. But in life, you have chapters. It's all a part of your story. It's all a part of your being. And you know what? Sometimes you got to get knocked on your fucking ass to be able to see what it really is that you should have been doing. And that's the sad fucking truth. But I'm telling you, it's the truth. Because every time something bad happens, what do you say? I should have did this, or I could have did this, or I would have did this. Now it's too late. Now all you can do, it's never too late. But now all you can do from that point on is be smarter, you know? But, you know, everybody don't get a, a bunch of chances either at the end of the day. So, you know, it's just life. But I just want to send my love out to everybody who's going through something and let them know that it'll be okay. Whoever you are, whatever you're going through, it'll be okay. You know, please, 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 guys, don't hurt yourselves. Don't have them thoughts. Trust me when I tell you, you will get through it. You will get through it. I'm trying to get through my own hardship right now. And I know I'm going to get through it like I've done hundreds of times it'll be all right you guys just send in my love but i'm gonna go in here in walmart and get what i need before my baby daddy start calling me and wondering where i'm at so <laughs> i will talk to you guys later and thanks for watching